Hi everyone, this is the start of the third lesson um, for the Equations and Inequalities pack. Now the pack last year started lesson three on another point, which is down here. So the second video will start saying, hello, this is the start of the third lesson, uh, where it was last year, but now it isn't this year, so sorry about that. So I didn't want to re-record this other bit because it takes five. So I thought I'd just to record this bit and um, add it in at the start, and you, you can survive with that, hopefully. Right, so it says an inequality means a mathematical statement. Uh, so you know about that. R is real numbers, you know about that. The funny looking V, I think it's epsilon, belongs to. Um, so we need to use the squiggly brackets and an E and like an R or something like that. So it says like square brackets we can use if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to because you go right up to it and slam into it. Whereas a rounded brackets, it's like, oh, we don't quite get there. Uh, let's have a look at this one there. So if you look, this, so this says that x belongs to the real numbers. Such that, and it lies between minus one and four, including minus one and four. So the other way to write it would be square bracket with a minus one or square bracket. Whereas this other one on the right of it would be square bracket for minus three and then a normal bracket for the one. So you can see the difference there, can't you? Right, so then we get to draw it. So remember from school, if it's, uh, if it's got the equals on, we include it, so it's a coloured in dot. So this one would be a coloured in dot for the minus three. But then if it isn't, it's an open dot. There we go. So then we've got some more down here. So the interval 1, 5, so that would be 1 is less than x is less than 5. But really, why have we done that for? Thank you. It should really have, if I'm being really, 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 really picky about it, it should really say, sorry everyone, curly brackets, x belongs to the real numbers, such that I put curly bracket on the end. Uh, I want to do a curly bracket on the end. But let me do a random dot. So this one would go from infinity all the way up. So I can say up to a minus infinity, it never quite gets there, so it's a rounded bracket, and then up to four. So we know that that would be a coloured in dot from four, and just an arrow pointing down. Whereas this one would be an open dot, up to five with an open dot. Yeah. Last one, what we've got here, so greater than or equal to, so we've got, it's got less than zero or greater than or equal to three. So you can write it in that notation. So I've got less than zero and greater than or equal to three. There we go. That's not too much of a heartbreak, is it really? We've done stuff like that at school. Right, let's do this next little bit then, and then that would be the, the, the new bit added in. So it says to so solve an inequality, so take the 7 off it, so I've got 3x is greater than 12, divide by the 3, x is greater than 4. Really need to say, proper set notation, x belongs to the real numbers with the extra line on it, x is greater than 4. There we go. So I'll look at this one, so if I move the 4x over, move the 11 over, so I've got 18 is less than or equal to 3x, 6 less than or equal to x. Always read your inequalities from the x going forward, so that would be x is greater than or equal to 6. And then if we do the wrap around with the set notation, that x belongs to the reals such that x is greater than or equal to 6, that's open up, made a mistake. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm okay with that, it's all good. Right, so let's have a look at this one. So with these, you read them as two inequalities, one going that way, so that's a 5x minus 9 greater than or equal to minus 4, and then one going this way, 
5, x minus 9, plus r equal to 11. So I'm going to add the 9 to both of them. So what's that going to be? That's going to be a 5. That's going to be a 20. Divide through by the 5. And then club it back together, because that's bigger than 1. Well, including 1. And that's less than 4. So it's 1, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4, with the wraparound of x being long to the real numbers, such that, and then close the bracket there. Uh, is that all right, everyone? Yay, cool. So, like I say, it will say uh, welcome, it's like the, they'll say it's a deferred lesson, but it is in. But the vids seem to work for that, so I'm good for that. I'm not changing that. Right, well done, everybody. Bye bye.